there appears to be a kind of nostalgic yearning for a charismatic figure like Dr. Martin Luther King. And as much as we revere him and appreciate his role in giving voice to the aspirations of those who uh, created the civil rights movement, if we insist on a repetition of that era, I'm afraid that we will only end up with parody. And so begins our story here in Nashville. We created a new space that didn't quite exist before, giving a voice and a platform to the most marginalized in society, specifically to our black people in the city of Nashville. We created a voice of dissent built from the collective voices of struggle from those who came before us. We rise up against anti-blackness, racist institutions and racist policies, embodying the wisdom of our elders, Audre Lorde. The true focus of revolutionary change is never merely the oppressive situations that we seek to escape, but that piece of the oppressor which is planted deep within each of us. And so begins this new and yet old narrative empowering people to speak for themselves. Right, when we talk about abolition and that's so hard for some people to imagine, and that's crazy, like the idea of us being free is so hard for people to imagine, right? But the response was exactly the same when people were talking about abolishing slavery. It was exactly the same. So this is not a new idea. These are ideas that have been like, when we talk about abolishing prisons and abolishing policing, we have to understand that the prisons are the new plantations. And so began our work here on the ground in Nashville, pushing the narrative of black liberation and launching a campaign of abolition. Partnering with grassroots organizations such as Democracy Nashville, Gideon's Army, Workers Dignity, Justice for Jefferson Street, Turk, and others to move the work forward here on a local level. We've also sent our folks across the country to stand in solidarity and build with other indigenous and oppressed people recognizing our intersectionality. But today, this video is for you. For those of you who want to support but can't figure out how, we've been doing this work for far too long now, sacrificing a lot of our time and using very little to no resources, most times coming out of our own pockets. And so we're creating this platform for you to use your funds and resources to support the work that's been done on the ground. And while we work towards dismantling racist and oppressive systems, we recognize the importance of creating spaces for black joy. It is our sincere hope that you would donate today. Your generous donations help us to keep the work going. I'm a kid who I ask you today, right now, we build our resistance movement in this country. Enough is enough. There will be more Mike Browns. I promise you that. There will be more Eric Johns, more Eric Garners. There will be more bodies on the streets of Ferguson and throughout this country. Until we come together as a people, as a community, and we draw our line in the sand, we say the revolution is starting today.